Hi Live Glam, it's Julia Sally here and we're going to be doing some skincare today along with a special occasion makeup look. So before we do anything at all, I'm going to share all of my social media handles with you in the next snap, so get ready to screenshot it and of course don't forget to come say hi. Okay, so for my face mask, this is a face and eye mask. So there's an eye mask, a face and neck mask, and a moisturizing finishing cream. And then I have the cute little headband that she has on in the pictures. I'm going to pull up this on my head so I look like a cute little ridiculous girl. Once it starts to dry, you'll see it come off of the skin. I still have some other parts that are still wet, so be back. All right, so now that we finished the final step, we're going to move on to the makeup now. Let's do it. <laughs> so I'm starting off with my brows. I'm using the Smashbox Brow Tech Gloss Stick in Brunette and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills Chocolate Brow Powder. So I'm just outlining the bottom of my little lash. This is my brow. You know what I meant, my brow. <laughs> And I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light to do this. And then this is a Royal and Lang Nickel brush. So I line from the front first. And this pencil is extremely soft, so you want to have a light hand with it. And then I just take the back, which has a brush on it, and I just brush it through so that the product goes all throughout my brow. And then I jump into the Anastasia powder, and I just like to use that to outline the outside. Okay, so here are the brows. We're going to go ahead and prime our eyes with the Pop Beauty Eye Magnet Primer. Morphe 35O palette for most of this look, and I'm going to start off with this color right here in my crease. So I'm taking this crease color up higher too towards my brow and then kind of winging it out. And I'm going to take this reddish brown color and I'm going to place this right in the crease. So I'm also placing it in the outer corner too. We're going to go and deepen up the outer corner in a little. Now I'm going to take this really chocolate brown color and this is going to go on the outer V. Now for the center of the lid, I'm using this color from ColourPop. This is called Millionaire. Now I'm using this MAC pigment, and this is the color English Gilt. This is going to go on the inner corner. And then right in the center of both of those colors, this is LA Splash's pigment in the color bronze. And of course, what is a special occasion look without some glitter? So this is the Makeup Forever Gold Glitter. I'm just going to add a bit of this to the lid. To apply it and get it to stay, I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. I 
I've applied the Tarte's Light Camera Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and now I'm going to apply these Coco Lashes, and these are in Soho. So this is the Spellbound Sprinkle from Tarte. I'm just going to add this to my brow bone, 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 <laughs> and also the inner corner. Finally, it's time for the face. If you have any fallout, just take a brush, any brush at all, and just brush it away. I'm using these three primers on my face. I'm using the Brighter Days from Tarte to moisturize and brighten, the Too Faced Hangover to get everything to stay, and the Hydra Blur to fill pores. I'm also using this guy right here, the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. I'm going to be using it a few times throughout my makeup, including after all my primers. For my foundation, I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation, and the color that I wear is Y375. For my concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Light. Out everything, I'm taking my Cosmakery translucent powder. For my bronzer, I'm using my poor, poor Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, but it's one of my faves. For blush, I'm using this beautiful blush from Cargo. It is in the color Los Cabos. And for highlight, I'm going to use these two. This is my poor Becca highlighter in Opal. God, all these broken makeups. So first is Opal. And then next is the glitter from Tarte, and we're glowing. Holy balls. Next, I'm going to be doing the lips, which is the final step to this look. I'm using all of these guys from Buxom. So I started off by lining my lips with Dolly Danger. Now I have on Naturally Darling. And this lip came out way too pink than I expected, so I added some of the Hush Hush lip liner as well. And to finish it off, I applied the Buxom Gloss in Sandy. So this right here is the final look. Look at that glow and that glitter. Glitter and glow. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and if you try it out, make sure to hashtag Beauty by Julia or Julia Salvia so that I can see it. Thank you so much again, as always, to Live Glam Co. and Laura, and of course, you guys as well. I will be back on again next Monday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Before I go, I'm going to leave all my social media handles one last time in the next snap, so get ready to screenshot it, and don't forget to come say hi. Bye, guys. See you soon.